What's up, y'all? This is Mommy Wata, and I am back, you all. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Y'all, we at 21,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Never thought I would hit 21,000, and it's still going up. So I do appreciate all of the love and support, okay? So we're going to freestyle. Let's just see what comes out. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? Let me say the truth, right? For me and my collective to discuss at this time, Holy Spirit, what is the message? What type of insight and guidance do we need to hear from you through me, Holy Spirit? What is the collective message at this time? We have the Queen of Pentacles that fell out. Let's see here. Holy Spirit, what are we talking about? What's the message? We have the Pope, which is also like the Hierophant card in this deck. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Someone wants to have a commitment with you. They're trying to figure out how they should make this happen. We have the star card here. Okay. They could. No, I'm not hearing that they're an Aquarius. I'm hearing that they know that if they want to have a commitment with you, they have to disclose some type of truth. They have to choose which seeds to sow here. I think the star is also talking about the hope and the faith that they have that you will accept this commitment here. But the star is also talking about if they want to see this commitment through, they have to come correct. We have the Ace of Cups. If they want to experience this Ace of Cups in the flesh, I'm hearing, they know they got to come correct. So they're trying to figure out how or what they should say and do. This emperor here, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? He thanking, child. He trying to think of how he needs to communicate, what he needs to say. What can he say? Because it's something that he knows he has to clear up before this person will accept this Ace of Cups energy from him. This is what he wants from them, but are they willing to give it in return, okay? But he knows that in order for him to make this person even think about committing to him in any way, he got to tell the truth about something. He has to provide some for form of truth or clarity to this person about a situation before he will be able to have success. And I also feel like the Six of Wands talks about the fact that this communication, it has to happen on a public platform, okay? It has to be done in a way where people will hear it, people will be able to acknowledge it, okay? Something like that here. Like, he know he can't just shoot no text or pick up the phone and give her this truth and clarity. He knows that he has to publicly display the truth and the light to this woman, to this Ace of Cups, okay? What is it that this emperor needs to disclose, Holy Spirit? What is this truth information? Ooh, y'all seen that? Because see, this motherfucker is a lot of mess. It's a lot of bullshit, Okay? That's why I said it's almost like he going to have to publicly apologize to her. He going to have to publicly tell her the truth and make amends. What did come out was the page of cups by itself. Okay, like I said, this man going to have to make public amends to this woman because of whatever he said and did. We have the eight of cups. Excuse me, we have the nine of cups. I feel like he knows that if he wants to have happiness with this person, if he wants to even have a peace of mind, it's getting to that point, okay? If he wants to have a peace of mind even, 
he knows that he needs to tell her everything. It's, it's given tell her everything, child, in order to end the disconnect between them and to be able to transform himself. Because I feel like he knows that making this connection, solidifying this commitment with this Ace of Cups is like the last thing he got to do in order to have some peace and feel better about life. It's giving that type of vibe, okay? Because right now she got her guard up to his ass because she knows about whatever devious, deceitful, manipulative crap he did that he got to apologize publicly for now with this Seven of Swords. She know this man did some old ill will shit against her, okay? And that's why she got her guard up to him. So he got to figure out how to get past her seven of wands energy. In addition to making to in addition to figuring out how he's going to publicly express this truth, he got to even get in a position where he can be able to tell her the truth because she ain't fucking with him. Okay. What did this emperor do against this ace of cups, Holy Spirit? We have the Ace of Wands. I feel like this emperor decided to start a new beginning and seek justice elsewhere with another energy, but that wouldn't warrant a public display of affection or a, a, that shouldn't warrant a public apology. It's something else here. He went off and got decided to have justice with somebody else cool but what else because it's something else we have the ten of cups he was trying to ensure something for his future with this ace of wands and justice energy this man chose who he chose over this ace of cups because he felt like it was going to be a positive thing. He thought he was going to have a good future with whoever, whatever this Ace of Wands energy is. But they they went through the tower. They might be going through a tower now. I personally feel like this Empress is in an emotional tower. Okay? He may have experienced a physical tower with whoever he thought he was going to have this Ten of Cups future with. But I do feel like this man is in an emotional tower right now because I'm really picking up that he's trying to get peace of mind. That however, or whatever he did against this Ace of Cups will not go away. And until he brings justice to her, he's going to be in the tower emotionally. I am picking that up. This is why he's trying to figure out and be meticulous about how he comes towards her because he doesn't want to ruin his chances. If he gets a chance, he know he got to go hard or go home, okay? He knows that he's going to have to have her around whoever he did whatever in front of, and he gonna have to correct it in front of them. What did this masculine do? Because I'm telling y'all, this Ace of Wands, this Justice, and this Ten of Cups, that's talking about the hope and plan he had for his future. He went off in another direction. That ain't nothing that he should have to publicly apologize for. It's something that he did to this Ace of Cups specifically. What was that, Holy Spirit? We have the Page of Wands. Oh, he said something about this Ace of Cups. That's why he has to say it publicly now. He has to fix it publicly now, okay? We got the Two of Wands. Honestly, I'm picking up that this man had a lot to say about this Ace of Cups future, okay? I feel like this man, yep, we got the Ten of Swords. He definitely betrayed her, okay? He betrayed her somehow, and what I'm picking up is that this emperor expressed opinions about this Ace of Cups future, he told something about her future plans. He tried to cause an ending for her future plans by communicating something here. Okay? 
Like I said, this wasn't no old little bullshit that he did against her. He did something against her publicly. Like he, with this page of wands, I'm getting that he expressed openly to another number of people that whatever she had planned for her future was not going to work. It wasn't going to pan out with this 10 of swords here. He betrayed her by talking down on her future and her plans. Trying to, uh, it's getting that he was trying to make her seem like she wasn't so, the person who he should have built a four of wands commitment with, who he should have created a solid foundation with. It was like, because he decided to go in this other direction, he had to make it look good. Cause I'm getting that maybe people were thinking that he would choose this Ace of Cups initially because justice is falling right up under her. So I'm getting that people thought that he would have chose this Ace of Cups but he went to this Ace of Wands. And so I'm also picking up that because he wanted to put her down to make her seem like she wasn't a worthy candidate, that's why his shit with this Ace of Wands came crashing down, okay? Because he put his mouth on this Ace of Cups in a negative way. It was almost like, well, she wasn't that good of a choice anyway. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. This is why I went down this road because yada, 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 yada. And I got a notification, spiritual confirmation. This man, he he slandered her, you know? Even though he had created many memories with her, this is possibly someone that was a former soulmate in a past life, okay? He has vivid memories throughout life with this Ace of Cups. This just was not some random energy that he picked up off the side of the road or some shit, okay? He know this person. So for him to try to play her like she didn't have any potential, you know, I would have my guard up to you too. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth, okay? She learned of whatever it was that he said to her, and now he's going to have to publicly tell the truth and clear up these these facades that he was throwing out about this Ace of Cups. And it's this Queen of Wands here. Because see, that's another thing I'm picking up. It was also something about her, if she qualified as wifey material, it's something like that here now. Cause he was out here slandering her name, and it just—it wasn't just about her career path or how her life was going on a day-to-day -day basis. This man was trying to make this woman look like she wasn't that good in various ways, so that it could justify him choosing this other en energy. Okay, definitely tried to create some drama and, and negative energy around her name with this Five of Wands. This. Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands energy here. I think that she is aware of the fact that this emperor tried to put her down when he chose another energy. But I don't think she's aware of everything that he's done. Okay? Because she turned her back to, his situa to that situation when he chose this other energy. And she got in her bag with this Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, she transformed herself. With this death card, she was not going to put effort or energy into trying to convince him of anything. If he, that's who he wanted to go and be with, that's who he can go and be with. And she moved on and she created abundance for herself in another area. She, This woman has transformed. So it's like whatever he said about her, it don't even, it's like, it don't even pan out. And especially with the energy that she's in now, because she has evolved. Maybe things were looking kind of meek for her when he had this decision to make. But I'm telling y'all, this woman has evolved into a queen of pentacles. She always was an ace of cups, okay? Her cup always 
overfloweth, okay? But now it's really bustling, okay? It's bubbling. You feel me? It's bubbling over. That's how abundant this woman has become since she separated from this emperor. You know, she she is empress material. She wifey material for sure now. Coming out here as this queen of pentacles, he, it can't be denied. So everything that he was saying about her, he got to lay it to rest. Because it the math ain't mathing. And that's just period. He tried to sit up and make this woman look bad and make it look like she wasn't abundant or even wifey material. And she all of that in a bag of chips, child. Okay. So now he looked like so stupid. He looked stupid. Period. That's the word. That's why he gonna have to make a public display of affection and amends to this Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups here, because he did try to play her like she wasn't worthy of him because he an emperor. Child. And she the damn empress. Okay. 16, 16 on the phone. Definitely giving this Ace of Pentacles energy here. And he knows that this, whatever he tried to go off and have with this Ace of Wands, he knows now for certain that he could have that with this Empress. She is the ultimate partner for him. So he ain't gonna, he got to go big or go home. That's what I'm hearing again. I heard that earlier. Like, it ain't no way the way this man tried to dog this woman out behind her back to just justify him choosing probably the real hoe. Because what I'm picking up and noticing is that this Queen of Wands is falling under this Ace of Wands. Okay? So that's letting me know that this person that he thought he was going to have justice, spiritual confirmation. The alarm just went off on the phone. This person who he thought that he was going to have justice with, Okay, and then he was going to have a happy ending with. That was the real hoe. The way this Queen of Wands is falling up under her energy like that, that's what he probably realized when they went through the tower. Okay, you put all that energy on this other woman who is your divine counterpart just to get burned by the true hoe. Might have got burned. Look, Queen of Swords might have got burned for real. But he know now, with this King of Pentacles energy here, oh, he know now who his, his true partner is. If he ever had any doubts before, he is well aware now. This Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords that he was with before, she showed him what happened between this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit. This Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands energy, he thought he was going to have justice with. Something happened. For me to even say that he got burned, he might have got an STD from this woman. Y'all, look at this. We got the Nine. Let me make sure now. Looks like the Nine of Wands to me. <laughs> and if you know the traditional Nine of Wands card, it's a masculine energy on that damn card. With a bandage across around his head, leaning against one of them wands, looking like he didn't got beaten down by life, but he didn't give up. He ain't gave up yet. Okay. I feel like that this motherfucker got burned by this this um this ace of wands energy that he tried to be with. Look, and he in regret. We got the five of cups. He didn't regret about this, this decision he made. See, because I feel like he was looking at 1919 on the phone. He was looking at aesthetics. He was looking at what it looked like to other people. That's why he went to other people to try to put down his true divine counterpart. Because he knew that shit wasn't right. What he was doing with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. He knew that shit wasn't where he was supposed to be and who he was supposed to be with. He knew that. That's why he wouldn't talk shit about this empress. And that's why she got her guard up to him now. So the only way, and I'm hearing this heavy, y'all. The only way 
that this emperor is going to get this empress back is by publicly apologizing to this woman, publicly making amends with this woman, and publicly ex expressing his affection and his desire to commit to her. Okay, he got to do all of that shit publicly. People going to have to see and know with this page of swords 2022 on the phone that he was wrong and he fixing it and that she is the one for him. Okay, she is his true divine counterpart and he willing to do whatever to make it right. That's what he going to have to do, y'all. I'm picking that up heavy. It's not going to be, and he know it. He know this empress ain't just going, he can't text this woman to call her and say, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Can we be together now? Oh, hell no. Nah. Nigga, you need to have a whole display set up, you know, and, and put some people in gear to decorate a place and, you know, maybe ask her to meet you somewhere so y'all can talk. And you need to have a whole full room full of all these people that you was ragging on her to. And you need to make it right in front of all them damn people. That's literally what I'm seeing with this five of swords. I mean, you talked all that shit about her. You hated on her. You judged her even. Now it's time for you. If you truly want to win at all costs with this empress, you're going to have to go big. I'm I'm hearing that. Like, I'm literally seeing a, a room, a community room or some shit. You know, like a banquet hall or something. And I'm seeing it decorated. And I'm seeing all these random people, family and friends of this empress and this emperor there. And this is how I feel like this is what he's going to do. He's going to collaborate with people to try to fix this. But I'm telling you, you're going to have to go big. You need to have a whole little party thing. You need to walk her ass in there. It need to be decked out in there. You dead ass. And you need to apologize to this woman in front of all these people. If you're trying to be with her and have a commitment with her, you know, you're going to have to do that because you passed judgment on this person. And this person was your ideal love choice that you were supposed to be in a two of cups commitment with and celebrate and be happy in life with. Okay. So with this pompous energy here, you're going to have to figure out a way, sir. Get in your books, get in your, get in your bag, get in your books and get in your bag and come up with a plan to make things right with this empress because she ain't going no other way. And it ain't going to be resolved without you making the proper gesture to ensure that she understands how you feel about her. Okay. And I'm dropping the mic on that. I am dropping the mic on that. Because this is one of those situations where, you know, you you embarrass this your empress, you embarrass your divine feminine, feminine publicly, you need to praise her and honor her publicly. It's that vibe, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply... Let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.